What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bill. This is Matt. This is Matt's Bronco. The Tat Squatch, which you've seen on the channel before by now. He's got this nice vinyl logo on here. It's starting to get ripped up a little bit. And uh, Matt's had some great design ideas. And we are going to attempt to do a half a wrap on the back side of this. He's got a new version of these that we're going to do. And then kind of from here back wrap it with a uh, pretty cool honeycomb like matte and gloss black thing that he's got so in order to do that we're gonna have to take the windows off so we have access to these back panels we have to take this monstrosity of a tire off the back here kind of disassemble the back and start uh wrapping things but yeah uh hopefully it turns out good we'll see i've done a minor amount of wrapping matt's done quite a bit with vinyl he says so hopefully Not a his... lot of wrapping but a lot of vinyl so Hopefully between the two of us, we can get it figured out. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead. We gotta take the uh, fender deletes off, take these rear uh, door handles off of there. Take and the set old the, vinyl off. Take the old vinyl off and uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, I guess for the door handles, there's a little plug right here that's super easy to pull out. That I'll get a little uh, tool, plastic tool to pull out of there. That or I'll just pull it out for you. Uh, did you already pull it out? Or Matt will show off and you mean this yes and pull this little doohickey out of there and then there should be a nut on there that we can loosen and then the door will open and kind of slide out so let's figure out what size that looks small probably seven millimeter in there all right so when i said it was tiny it is tiny it is five millimeters and then get on there and just loosen that up. I'll loosen it up until you can pop this door out. So there, that pops out like so. And then you should just be able to pull that out of there. Then that goes back in, slides in, that locks in, and then you tighten that back so it's going in there. And it's as easy as that to pull your door handle off. You have to tighten this back a little bit just so that door will latch if you're worried about that but right now it won't latch which I think we're fine with since we're going to be kind of playing with it but yeah now we'll go ahead and start pulling this off getting things cleaned up find where all the the dirt has been hidden it's a little chilly this morning so this might be hard to pull up oh I have a heat gun yeah he's got a heat gun I got a heat gun but it's pulling right off you mind if I keep pulling no. <laughs> This is the this is the most satisfying part until it starts ripping off into small pieces. Yeah, we'll pull this off. You see the kind of the dirt line where things have been cleaned and polished and not. So we'll kind of get that cleaned up and then we'll put the new logo down and start working our way back. All right, so he ran a knifeless tape, tried to get it centered in there, since that's crossing the door, and then I cut it right down the middle and wrapped both edges and everything should line up. And uh, go ahead and get everything lined up for the logo here. Nice, Mod Horses Bronco Roundup 2023. Also, check out this shirt. 
you can pick this up at uh, shop.eviltruck.com. But yeah, we got uh, a logo on there. Matt's going to attempt this knifeless tape. Hopefully that's going to give us a nice cut right down the middle and then can wrap that around the edges. Now, one thing, this is tri-line. To do, to bridge the gaps like this, you normally use one that just has a wider tape and a single line, but they were out of that, so we made do. I'm gonna say, this is the first time using this, so, and it shows. <laughs> Well, nope. well, that's supposed to come out like so. Yeah, like so, like so, and then this one peels right underneath of it. And then you tuck, tuck and roll. We'll hit a little heat on that also to make sure it's good and secure. I think right there it needs. Most of this stuck pretty good right here is being difficult. Now but see the difference in, yeah. where, in where I used the line to and, right here. Yeah, I noticed that when I was wrapping this, it was a bit more it's than the rest. More because it's really hard to get a straight line down with the blade. So this tape is amazing. Yeah. Right? But you know, live and learn. It's first learning process. And I think it did pretty well. I think that looks pretty good. Pretty good scene. Uh, like I said, we'll come back through some heat and make sure all the edges and everything's sticking down. And, and I do really like this vinyl. It's almost like a dragon scale or a scale of some sort. Yeah, we, we'll need a little more heat on it. Did good. All right. From there, we're going to work our way back. We only took this side apart. We took the tail light out. We're going to wrap all the way to the back. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Um, once we get those two sides done, then we'll tackle this tailgate. Tailgate should be fairly simple. It's just that we got to take everything apart on it, which is going to be the, the fun part. Because <laughs> these <laughs> wheels and tires set up he has, it's not small and not light. But yeah, we'll uh, hit that with some more heat and start working our way back from there. All right, so some progress. Did a whole stripe there, ended it. Now, after the uh, logos on there, he ran that knifeless tape along the outside to make nice uh, even surface around there so we could put another line. Now we're putting this piece here on the door, kind of shaping it to the door. Let's wrap it around, trim these pieces, and get everything tucked. And then I think that looks pretty awesome. You happy with it? I think that looks. I think it looks <coughs> really good. So get this cleaned up, all the edges tucked around, and uh, this will be ready for the quarter panel. A little more progress. Got this rear panel done. Uh, Got to do another piece for the gas tank. Tried to convince them to just leave it like that and put a uh, evil truck logo there, but he's uh, not convinced. But yeah, got it coming up, coming around, wrapping around that. Looks good with the delete. We gotta take that back off because we've gotta do this piece and put that on first. But just setting it up there to see how it looks. And I think it looks pretty damn good. So yeah, this side is just about done. Got the two little pieces here. 
and there and then the door itself but overall not too shabby all right guys we so we ran out of space we ran out of time and had to pick back up on another day so this side nice and done looks great we go around to the other side got this nice and done what we did not get done though was the tailgate so matt's come back we're gonna do another video installing that exhaust um in the meantime while we're waiting for this to cool down we we'll go ahead and take this monster of a tire off get everything torn apart and work on uh getting this tailgate done look at that great paint job all right so what we ended up deciding is it'd be easier to just go ahead take the tailgate off lay it down wrap it and then put it back up and get everything get the door lined back up rather than try to fight keeping the door aligned and wrapping around things so uh we already disconnected everything the hinges are disconnected so i just got to pop this open and the whole thing will fall off and look at that beautiful paint job you can definitely tell they are painted after the hinges are installed but let's go ahead we'll do this with two people you want to hold on to that side just in case Oh, that's light. That's very light. <laughs> I was waiting oh, for this yeah. thing. Yeah, I, I thought it was going to be heavy. So now, it's got to heat up the horse and take that off. These things are a pain in the ass to get off. They, they use those same type of screws as their defender wells and these, where you have to be very gentle with them to get them to turn so they pull out. But they're very tight and it's hard to hold the thing in there. Um, when I pulled mine off of mine, I ended up just getting frustrated and yanking them off. But, um, and then putting nut certs in there and screwing nuts back in. But it is possible to undo those, but they're not very much fun. And then we gotta take this handle off. This handle's gonna be much like the handles on the doors, except for the hole is on the bottom of the gate. So you'd pop that out and then, just like you do on the, uh, the doors, loosen it up and yank it out so that and this thing needs a good cleaning too before that so we'll get this all prepped and try to get that wrap and then yeah i think this will be much easier to work on like so or even up on the table if it's more comfortable and then or and set it on top of, set now it on top that tires yeah as a table that or just use the trash can as a table too where i got that set in all kinds of tables we got tables galore bills tables and emporium and more so we'll do that i think we'll let matt work on that and while he's doing that i'm going to start taking the exhaust off that's in a different video though all right so here underneath this we have tailgate all cleaned up prettified and it's just cutting a, a way for these air vents here to make some space and then we'll lay down over that whole thing and figure it out from there all right so here it is it's a not brand new day uh it's actually been a few days since we've uh finished up this wrap but we got finished up we went to uh super celebration and i realized that we never did finish up the video but here you can get a look at the hood turned out good we didn't cut the, the uh, emblem out he had those cut out at his local shop and then did the 3M tape around the outside, the knifeless tape, and laid these down. And turns out the hood's got a lot more contour to it than it looks like it does. Uh, on the side, kind of got the angle going up into the Imperial logo and then all black around the back. Now it is a little dirty, 
he didn't realize I was going to finish this up today so and then around the back did uh paint paint the horse to match the uh, original color and then same thing on this side so overall it came out good there's a few spots that could have came out better but overall I think it worked out great. We learned a lot in the process. Uh, like I said, we were just at a super celebration and it was definitely an attention getter. It was funny to just sit in there and watch that there's nobody that could walk past and not just have to touch it to see what the texture was. So it was really cool. A lot of great feedback on it. So I think it turned out great. Matt, are you happy with the Very results? Very happy. Very. So cool. Um, yeah. I think that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check out Tattoo Matt 71 on Instagram or here on the channel. And, and uh, now, now, Tat underscore Squatch on Instagram. Uh, it has its own. Tat Squatch has got his own thing now. So check him out and we'll see you next time.